Hey, what's up, everybody? This is King141 here, and I'm here to talk about plot development. Now, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to cover in this video, um, you can pretty much pick up in, you know, grade school and uh, college and things like that. Just in school in general, uh, for the most part, you can pick up on most of this. And these things would be um, pretty much your exposition, your rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. Five basic parts of a story and um, very, very essential if you want to make a good story. Your protagonist and your antagonist. Your protagonist, which is your hero of the story, I guess you can say, and your antagonist is the villain of your story. For the most part, good always triumphs evil, and evil always wants to destroy good. So, with, the, with those basic ideas in mind, your protagonist is probably going to have a goal, and or 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 something like that. And your antagonist is going to be one of those obstacles in the pro in the protagonist's way. Um, the antagonist is going to be against the protagonist at all costs, not making the protagonist's story easy. He adds, he or her adds complications and adds new dynamics that the protagonist has to figure out and overcome. We also have to figure out why the antagonist and protagonist are against one another, you know. And uh, what relates them is probably probably the best way to figure that out. How are they related? Um, why does the antagonist have a problem with the protagonist? And why does the protagonist feel the need to persevere beyond what the antagonist is doing? That will also come up in a later video uh, where I talk about character motivation. But for now, we're just on plot development. So... Once you've picked your protagonist and antagonist and you've done your basic moves with them, the basic plot chart says to start at the exposition. Now the exposition is going to give you your setting, um, where is your story located, the time, the place, what your story takes place in or around. Your exposition is also going to be like an introductory of uh, many things in your story, such as characters, ways of living, character details about their, you know, backgrounds or um, their current situations. Just introducing uh, character interactions, um, early character interactions, introducing the building blocks for your story. What's going on before major things begin to happen? Or what do you want the reader to care about or to know before they get into the real dynamics of your story. After your exposition, um, next comes rising action. The rising action, you're going to push your main character. Um, sometimes it demands a change in the tone of the character or the personality of the character. And what I mean by push your character, I mean your character might have just found out something interesting and he or she has to um, work hard to prevent it from happening or to make it happen. Rising action should involve the main character. It is at this point that the pacing and the excitement should definitely start to pick up. You're trying to really hook in the audience at this point. If they weren't interested in your characters, if they weren't interested in all your exposition, then this is the point where you really have to get them interested. Now, if they were already interested and they were reading your story, at this point, their interest level should definitely go up because this, this part of the story should keep your audience wanting more and more up until we reach the climax. Most people recognize the climax of the story is always, you know, the big point or the most important thing that really happens in the story. This is where you put whatever you have planned 
that is like the major arc of your story. The big thing that even motivated you to create a story. This is going to be an explosion of the protagonist and antagonist journey where you would show who wins between the protagonist and the antagonist. Does the protagonist give in and uh, succumb to all the obstacles and everything the antagonist has been doing to him or her? Or does the protagonist prevail and overcome his obstacles and move forward? If you're writing a longer story, it's possible to have more than one climax. Climax is really where you want to strike emotion with the uh, audience. Where you really want to sell the greatness of your story. Um, here is where you would want to reveal a big secret or um, where a death may occur. A plot twist, which I will get into in another video. After the climax, the story should immediately go into the falling action. Which are the effects of um, what happened in the climax. This is pretty self-explanatory. What's the effects of what happened between the antagonist and the protagonist? If you've successfully told a good story that has held the attention of the audience, the audience wants to know what's going to happen to these characters that they've been following all this time throughout your story. And finally, we come to the resolution. The resolution is pretty much going to tell the audience what the characters have learned throughout the story or after the events of the climax or the falling action. And it's also going to show how has the journey affected and changed your characters. Has it made them stronger? Has it uh, made them weaker? Has it taught them a lesson? How has the journey affected your characters? Now, if you're following these basic guidelines, then I will guarantee that you are on the right path to creating a good story.